Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Erlene. On this channel, I do prescription box, subscription boxes, some hauls, some mass Mondays, some friend mail, what's up Thursday, some giveaways, and whatever else we find fun or interesting. Today for you, I have a couple different things. I have two winners doing now, one for my 75 and one for my one, a giveaway. You can win a giveaway from Pinky Jean. Um, I have some empties I'm going to go through, and I think that's all we have for today. Oh, and we're going to talk about our weekend, how our week's been, and what's going on this weekend. Okay, first up our empties. I used up a bottle of Keratin Infused Smoothing Shampoo by Suave. It was okay. I used uh, the conditioner also. It was alright. I mean, it was shampoo. I used the Lotus... Um, face story mask. I used a Crumb Shop Be Perfect Skin and I made a mask. I used up a Be Bright Skin by Crumb Shop. Um, I used up a Bath and Body Work Orange and Ginger. I like the orange smell. I'm not so crazy about the ginger, but it was all right. Good lotion. Um, I used a collagen, professional shrink collagen from Piping Rock Up. There's a very tiny bit in there and I cannot get it out. So that is that. That's what that looks like. It was good. Seemed to work okay. I used up a Pure Romance All Over Firming Body Cream. I wasn't impressed. I didn't like the smell. I didn't like the texture. But I used it up. That's what we do around here. We use things up. I used up a Playlist Nutrition Ultra High Dating Sheet Mask. Mary Catherine Love Cat bought that for me. I will um, link her in the description box in case no one, someone doesn't know her. She's a wonderful, wonderful person. I used up a Bliss um, Black Star Sunscreen. This is my sunscreen I wear every day. I love it. It was just a tiny one, but it seems to last a few weeks. Um, you can get it at Walmart for five bucks. Um, I used up a Cetaphil Little Guy Face Wash. And I used up a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. I really like this. It worked good. That's it for my empties. Um, as far as this weekend goes, we are going to my family's house. And we are um, going to a little place up north from us. That has a, like a wildlife center. There's a free thing to get in this weekend. They have a eagle's nest you can climb in. It's all man-made. They have a big um, spider's web you can climb in. We're going up with myself, my husband, my niece and her husband, my great niece, my mom. Nope, sorry, mom's not going. Dad, my nephew, and I'm not sure who else is going, but it's going to be a good time. It'll be fun. It'll be something interesting to do for the day. I've never been there. My husband's never been there. My great niece's never been there. My dad and my nephew have, so that'll be good. Um, what else do we have today, guys? Um, Sunday, I'm going over to help um, my friend's family that passed away work on um, decluttering and getting rid of some of her stuff and sorting it and all that. So that'll be a rough day. All her caregivers, she was a disabled woman. All her caregivers are going over. We're all going to meet and help out. So that'll be good. It'll be a lot of, probably a lot of crying, a lot of, you know, emotional stuff, but it'll be okay. Um, I have talked to her parents. They are doing okay. She did live at home with her parents. Um, she was a wonderful person. She worked full time. She was a go-getter. She defended everyone that she loved. And if she didn't like you, she didn't like you. But if she liked you, she was a strong advocate for you. She wanted the best for you. She was a strong advocate to people with disabilities. Um, her herself was in a power chair and lived um, from like her mid-20s to when she passed away at 57, 57, 58. So, you know, she uh, went to college, did all the things and then ended up sick while she was working in Washington, D.C., where she lived. Ended up in um, a facility after that. 
Um, they said she'd never walk again. She'd never be able to use her arms or anything. She used her arms. She was a computer whiz. That's what she did for a living. She wrote grants for, um, like, her synagogue because she was Jewish. She wrote grants for the, the company she worked for. She was an amazing, amazing person. She was a whiz on the computer. She could outdo me on the computer any day. Um, but that'll be a good day. I mean, it'll be sad. It'll be a lot of emotions, but it'll be a good day. You know, we'll be with her family. We'll be with all her coworkers, all her people will be together. So, okay, let's announce some winners. Remember, winners have 48 hours to get in touch with me. Um, my email address is in the comment section. Um, please get a hold of me. Let me know your mailing address. I will have everything mailed out no later than Saturday. As long as everyone gets a hold of me, I have one package I'm still waiting to mail out. And then two packages I'm waiting to mail out. The winners do know that they're coming. The one winner knows and then the other's friend mail, she knows it's coming. My first giveaway, um, I want to give away You Can Too from Miss Pinky Jean. Congratulations to Emmy, Emily D. Emily D, you have 48 hours to get a hold of me. My, all my information, like I said, is in the description box. Um, please send me an email. Let me know your address, where you want everything shipped, and I will ship it to you. Um, like I said, no later than Saturday if I have all the information. If not, I will be drawing. I have to draw a new winner um, by Saturday. Okay. By Sunday, I'm sorry. And the winner's prize will go out by Monday. Next up for the 75 people, 75 subscriber giveaway. The winner of that is Kimmy, a little of a lot. Kimmy, again, you have 48 hours to get a hold of me. All my information is in the description box. Please reach out to me. Let me know where you want everything shipped and I will gladly get it out to you. Um, we have our next drawing for our next winner is going to be I'm sorry, it will be announced on Sunday, on Monday, our next, um, our next drawing for our mystery giveaway is Saturday the 9th. I, um, film Sunday night, so I will be drawing the winner, um, Saturday evening. I will film my video on Sunday, and as soon as the winner gets a hold of me for that secret giveaway which you all know what it is um i did throw a few other things in there um sorry i'm having a moment with myself i will get that out to you and hopefully you will have it by saint patrick's day um i just talked to another lady i mailed something out to and her package was supposed to be to her today and it's stuck in georgia the poor thing but she knows it's coming she knows that i wrapped it good she knows that it's nothing i did so it happens. Again, ladies, thank you. And gentlemen, thank you for everything. I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate your love. I just appreciate your support. I just appreciate, ugh, I appreciate all your kind comments in, the, just in my comment box. I love chatting with all of you guys down there. We are one away from our next milestone giveaway, which is 100. If we have that by Saturday, Sunday, we'll draw another winner. We'll announce another giveaway and we'll draw another winner in a week for that one. That'll be our 100, 100 person giveaway. And then it's every 25 from there, guys. Um, please remember to like, comment, and share. And most importantly, treat others the way you want to be treated and be safe in this crazy, crazy world. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.